uh, I would say to the president, you know, don't be chicken. Come to Albany. Come on Tuesday. Explain it to all of us exactly what happened here. Transparency. That's what we ask for, especially from a university. That's what we want. Am I talking to a university president of a major university in America? Or am I talking to someone who's going into kindergarten? And this is also what's very offensive to me is when the administration turns around and says, well, we're not endorsing these views, we're simply sponsoring the event. I mean, it's a little bit shocking, honestly, to hear a president say that because the president of a university should be familiar with the basic meaning of words. The word sponsorship, according to the dictionary, means one who vouches or is responsible for another thing. So it really is intellectually dishonest for the administration to turn around and say, oh, we're only sponsoring the event. What that means is we're only vouching for this event. We're only responsible for this hate-filled, anti-Semitic, pro-terrorist movement. Racism is not academic freedom. Calling for the destruction of Israel is not academic freedom. When the political science department at Brooklyn College sponsor an event using our tax dollars. This organization is one that expresses hate, that expresses opposition to Israel. I have a right to stand here and oppose that organization. But at the same point say yes, they should be heard. But not with the official stamp of this college. Not with the official approval of the political science department. Not with the use of our taxpayer dollars. Um, I wonder if the administration's policies would have been different if the political science department had invited David Dukes to talk about his opposition to the civil rights laws or other racist laws. Uh, if uh, David Dukes uh, were here, I'm sure uh, President Gould would be outside uh, protesting as well. You know, this is not just an academic exercise uh, on the part of the political science trying to teach uh, some political science doctrine. The destruction of Israel has real consequences. That would mean that the millions of people living in Israel would not have a state. It means that it would be open house on all of the people who live there. We are talking about the potential of a second Holocaust. Yes, this isn't a dialogue. This isn't a two sides. As, as, as Mr. Dershowitz said yesterday in his, in his editorial, this is, this is not a dialogue. This is not a two-sided conversation. You're not hearing differing points being presented. You're hearing one side. It's, it's a glorified hate fest, and it's a, it's a shame that an institution such as Brooklyn College and CUNY, because let's, let's be honest, Brooklyn College's name is on this, CUNY's name is on this, and then the state's name is on this. It, it's a shame that they're, that they're involved in this. It's a shame that they're putting their stamp of approval on it, and they should really rethink this before there, there, there are more consequences to their actions. I believe it's outrageous. I believe uh, the college should uh, change its opinion about what does it mean to, 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 to express their opinion about this event. You know, I do not believe it's academic freedom. I believe the issue here is who should be sponsoring this event and who should not sponsor the hateful rhetoric of BDS movement. Brooklyn College is a very diverse place uh, and you know we stand for dialogue. We believe in free speech and we believe in freedom of opinion. But the fact of the matter is, is that there's a very fine line between dialogue and spewing hatred. There's a very fine line between portraying someone's opinions and portraying hateful speech against a people or a country. Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East. Coming, uh, you know, having Omar Barghouti and you know, others come to campus to spew their hatred against Israel. People who deny the Holocaust doesn't make them any better than Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. But what's most important when you have individuals or groups that tend to promote uh, hate or ugly acts uh, or, 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 or talk about allegations against one country or an individual, we cannot condone that, especially when you talk about an institution of higher education who talks about tolerance.